Hi, welcome to my channel. As I promised a few weeks before, I will show you how I transform my computer into this vintage beauty using Dollar Tree items. I also have a bonus DIY at the end of this video, so stick around for that. Let's just jump right into it. My computer is 27 inches in measurements, so depending on the measurement of your computer, you will use less or more boxes. I used a total of 42 boxes and I'm only using the inside of the box. I have another DIY for the outside coming next week, so stay tuned for that, it's a really fun one. First you want to stain all the cubes, and once they're dry, we can begin creating the towers for our design. Now the reason why I used the inside box is because it allows you to use more boxes because they're smaller in measurement, and the more boxes you use in this project, the prettier it will look. First you want to create two towers for the side of the computer. For my measurements, I created two towers of eight cubes each. Next, I created a third tower, this time 10 cubes, and this will be placed on the top of the two towers. Once all the towers are created, we can begin assembling them. You first want to place both towers on each side, and then you want to place the top one. And before you glue them into place, you want to turn on the computer. This will allow you to really figure out the center of it. Now, the bottom tower that you created is a double road tower. I use a total of eight on each road, so a total of 16. And this part we will not be gluing on the bottom because this will allow you to access the cables easier. Once you're happy on how everything looks, just glue all the three towers on the top together. And once that is done, these are the final results. I decided to accent mine with crystals. It just adds to the whimsical feel that I was going for for my office. And by the way, if you haven't watched this transformation, I will link it below. It's by far one of my favorites. I love how this room turned out. So this technique can be used for your computer, or it can also be used to disguise your TV. It all depends on the measurements and playing around with these boxes. But regardless, I absolutely love how this turned out, and I couldn't be happier. Now, really quick, I will jump to the second DIY, and for some of you who haven't watched, I transform a restaurant. If you haven't watched, I will link it below. And a lot of you were a kind of distressed because I placed real flowers inside these Dollar Tree frames, and you were wondering if they were going to mold. They won't, and I will show you exactly how I did this. Basically, I didn't have enough time to press these flowers so I could create the collage that I wanted. So I went ahead and I used this technique that allows you to instantly use the flower in a frame. Basically, you want to take a piece of paper and you want to add your cut flower on top. And then you want to use another piece of paper. And then you want to grab your clothing iron and you want to press the flower down. Essentially, what you're doing is extracting the water from the flower. And you just want to be patient with it. And the key for this technique is to be very, very diligent and to extract completely the water from the flower. The paper will also help absorb it. And that way you can use it in your frame. It will look vivid, but um, give it a few days and it will look like it was pressed. And this is the quickest way of pressing a flower and using it in a project without them molding. So. If you didn't know this technique, I highly recommend it if you are in a rushed situation like I was, but I still do recommend you using the traditional technique. The flower looks a lot better that way. Regardless, I still think that this is a great um, information to have if you ever want to do a similar project. Now, something that I do suggest, if you're going to do a collage of flowers, press them together. It doesn't matter if it looks very bulky when you start doing it. This way is because it will allow the flowers to be mushed together and it's just going to be easier for you to place them on the frames. After, it's just a matter of selecting what background you want and once you're happy, just create your collage and these are the results. I absolutely loved how this turned out. I will link the transformation if you haven't watched it down below. And with this, we conclude this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and that next week I have another exciting project coming your way. Thank you for watching. May God bless you and...